Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we are going to see one math question in ratio and proportion. See the question. What number should be subtracted from each of 50, 61, 92 and 117 so that the numbers so obtained in this order are in proportion? We know proportion. We need four terms, two ratio to form a proportion. We need two numbers, two terms to form a ratio. So after we get the ratio, only we can get the proportion. Two ratios are when will be equal that is proportion. So proportion means we have one small easy trick. Product of extremes. Extremes means n both n. Product of extremes which is equal to product of means then we can say these numbers are in proportion but it is given. These numbers subtracted from each uh, one number from each of this number will get the proportion that means this is not in proportion. So after you subtract one number from this each of this you will get the proportion. First you write the product of extremes which is equal to product of means that formula 50 into 117. 50 into 117 which is not equal to 61 into 92 that is product of extremes is equal to product of means but it is not given in ratio it is not given in proportion form. What numbers should be separated from each of this so you will get the proportion. So unknown we are going to subtract one number, that number we don't know, that number we are going to find out. So we take it as x. So we are going to subtract from each of this number 50 minus x, 50 minus x into 170 minus x, which is equal to 61 minus x into 92 minus x. So you know the product of binomial. When we are multiplying these two 50 into 170, right here 50 into 117 then minus x into minus x will get the plus x square the same you will get minus x into minus x plus x square so you can cancel both sides just keep in mind after that when we are multiplying this 50 into x minus x will get minus 50x minus x into 170 will get minus 170 by adding these two we will get minus 7 5 plus 1 6 167x which is equal to this same procedure product of binomial into another binomial 61 into 92 61 into 92 minus 61 into x minus x will get minus 61x minus x into 92 will get minus 92x by adding this will get 3 5 see 3 9 plus 6 15 so 153 x now we can no need to write here x square that side also x square as I told you we can cut both x square and x square now this will bring this 61 into 92 this side then minus 167 transfer to that side will become positive. See 50, we can uh, for our convenience we can write 100 by 2 into 117. When you are transposing this uh, 61 into 90 will become negative, plus will become like minus 61 into 100 minus 8, which is equal to 167 x minus 153 x. See here, this is given. Four numbers given not in proportion. We have to subtract one number from each of this to get a proportion. What number we are going to find out that we have to take it as x. So after take it as x, subtract the x from all the number. You know the product of extremes equal to product of means. So we got this answer. Why we have to write 50 as 100, 100 by 2 means? It is easy to cancel, easy to simplify. The same 92 also we can write 100 minus 8. By using the distributive property, easily we can get the answer. Now see the next step. It is given four numbers, so we have subtracted x that is unknown. We have subtracted by cancelling this, we will get 58.5 in this. So 100 into 58.5, 100 into 58.5 minus 6100. See 61 into 100, 6100 into 188, 68 is 48, which is equal to. 167x minus 153x will get 14x. See, we can use the distributive property over subtraction easily so that we have converted this 92 into 100 minus 8 by subtracting this will get 10 minus 8 to 9 minus 8 to 1. It will become 10. 10 minus 4 is uh, 6 here 5. So you can check 2 plus 8 10 balance 1, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 8 10 again 1, 1 plus 6, 7 plus 4, 11. Balance 1, 5 plus 1, 6. So, got the answer. 100 into 58.5, 5850, 5612. This we will subtract, which is equal to 14x. So, the next step will be subtract these two. 
10 minus 2 is 8, it will become 4 minus 1 is 3, 8 minus 6 is 2. So 238 by 14 will be our unknown number, what number x? So x equal by using this 14 table, 114 is 14, balance is uh, like uh, 9. So 98, 17 is 7, 7 for 7 is so 98, 17 is 14 is 98. The answer for this question is x equal to 17. Thank you for watching. Thank you.